guys welcome back to my channel today I am doing my pregnancy update this is week 26 with baby number four it's been a little while since my last update which I believe was at 21 weeks but January was crazy I'm not gonna even gonna lie I always have an excuse though <laughs> as to something being crazy but really there was um, so much that went on um, a death in the family and just a lot of issues with my grandfather who I take care of and um, yeah so I just didn't have time and there wasn't much to update on so it was not a big deal so I just looked up on my baby app at sizing for the baby baby is currently 14 inches long and about two pounds and they have these awesome pop culture references for size um, for the fruit vegetable comparison, they are comparing it to an acorn squash. And if you are like me and have no idea what size an acorn squash is, I looked at the other references. Baby is also currently the size of Aladdin's lamp from the Disney movie. And you can also compare Baby right now to the size of a Walkman. Now, I do not remember a Walkman being like... 14 inches long like I know what size a Walkman is and I'm not sure I get their size reference so thinking about that again I'm gonna have to look into it um, some more because I don't get that reference but whatever um, that, that is currently what baby is compared to size wise so being 26 weeks this is the end of my second trimester, getting ready to enter that third trimester soon, and it is all moving so fast. I, I don't know how 26 weeks has gone by already, because I knew extremely early on when I was pregnant, and this time has just gone by super fast, and it needs to slow down a little, I'm not going to lie, because I am not ready. And you're probably out there like, this is baby number four, lady. How are you not ready? And I am ready, like, parent-wise. Like, I know what to do with a baby. Like, I I got that part pretty much. I mean, not every baby is the same, though, so you can't necessarily say that. And I don't know how my other kids are going to react when this baby comes home. And it's not just an idea anymore. It's actually here. Um, But... Physically, I'm just not ready. Like, physically meaning materialistically, I guess. Uh, after my third, I was pretty much sure I was done. <clears throat> and so I started getting rid of things. Got rid of the car seat, got rid of the swing, the bouncers, the baby, everything. Um, and a lot of clothes. And all my cloth diapers. <laughs> so I honestly don't even know what I have. Um, we're in the process of going to be moving, hopefully by April, like a month before baby comes, and all of my old stuff that my kids have outgrown, so baby stuff, is packed away and in another location, and I'm just like, no clue what I still have. And my husband's like, oh, don't worry, we'll be moved by then. Yeah, we'll see. And it's like, because I, I mentioned something like, maybe we should just bring this home and go through it. And he's like, so you want me to bring more things home to move more things back? And I'm like, you know, it'd be nice to be a little bit prepared. Maybe just have an idea of what we have. Um... I have started getting things like to get another car seat and I don't even remember what else I got. I got a bassinet because I use that a lot, especially to move around. It's really handy for me. So I did get that. So I have a few things, but I'm just not ready. I'm not prepared. Not at all. So besides for that, um, let's see, nearing the end of my second trimester, I am in the two-week club now with my OB office, um, meaning I will be going in for appointments every two weeks. So that will, I just went this past Tuesday, so two weeks from now I'll go back in, I gotta do my glucose screening and all of that. 
Um, let's see, symptom wise, I have pregnancy brain like crazy. And I know I've mentioned that before. Um, you know, pregnancy brain piled on top of mom brain piled on top of I do a hundred million things at once and can't keep track of everything brain. Um, I'm just like all over the place. So that's why I cannot keep track of what sentence I am saying, what I'm going to say next, <laughs> um, what I'm really doing. I mean, I do the best that I can, but I just feel very, very scattered. Besides that, um, my worst, the worst symptom that I'm experiencing currently is pain. Uh, I know I've talked about my pelvic floor issues, and I do have pelvic floor pain, but I have done a lot to try and rest. Like, I'm not standing. I'm not doing things to really aggravate that as much, but then I'm having this body pain. It is pretty much constant back pain. I, I get round ligament pain, um, but the back pain is what kills me. Like sitting here right now, my back is killing me. Um, in the bathtub, my back is killing me. In bed, my back is killing me. Like no matter what I do, where I sit, where I lay down, how I lay down, whatever, it hurts. So um, just trying to deal with that you know, I, I am more natural. I don't like taking medicine if I do not have to. And just how much I've researched over the years and how much I've learned about, you know, what we thought, oh, this doesn't cross the placenta. Well, now we're learning that so much more does, in fact, cross your placenta. So if I can not take something that could possibly cross my placenta, um, then I'm not gonna take it. Like, if I, if I absolutely have to, I will, but I really do everything I can to not. I have taken Tylenol maybe three times during this pregnancy just because I got to the point where I couldn't take it anymore. Um, but I really try not to do those things. So, and that's just my personal preference. Um, you know, and I talked to my midwife and she said, you know, when I see women who have had multiple children who are on four or five or six, she said it's really a um, common complaint about the pain. And she's like, just try and rest. And I'm like, it's happening while I'm resting. <laughs> it's happening all the time. My sleep is terrible, terrible. Like I wake up now, like, it would be I'd get, like, three, four hours sleep, and then I'd wake up, and I'd be like, oh, my gosh, I cannot lay here anymore. But now, it's, like, two or three hours of sleep, and I'm waking up, like, oh, I just, I don't know what to do. No matter what side I'm on, if I'm on my left side, my right side, my leaning towards my front, leaning towards my back, um, pillows between my legs, pillows under my back, pillows shoved everywhere possible, um doesn't really matter. I've tried using, not Icy Hot, but it's, um, I think it's from doTERRA. It's deep blue rub. It's kind of like an Icy Hot. Um, I've tried using that. I, it's just, after a little while, I just can't lay there anymore, and then I can't sleep, and it is starting to affect everything else in my life. So, that is where we're at on that. If you have any tips, let me know because I, I would really like some sleep before this baby comes and I don't have any sleep. Um, cravings. Cravings is the other thing. Um, I've really done a lot to try and hone in my diet to eat foods that aren't terrible for me. But my body is just craving raving things that I should not have. Um, cookies and brownies and donuts and ice cream and anything sweet. Like if you put a dessert in front of my face, bad decision. Like pie, I don't care what it is. Like I just want it so bad and I'm trying really hard. Like I do not keep that stuff in my house because it will not stay in this house. My husband brought home some Oreos 
it was one of those like smaller packages of the new triple stuff and I'm like okay gonna try one because it's an Oreo you can't pass up an Oreo and I'm like oh it's okay like I thought their proportions are off like double stuff is where it's at but the package was still here even though it was put up in a cabinet that I usually don't go in that I'm not looking at all the time, I knew it was there. So, like, literally, I would make an excuse to walk into the kitchen so I could grab, like, three of those triple stuff Oreos, and the package was gone in, like, a day. Like, I just... I can't help myself. The, the pregnancy cravings are no joke. So, yeah, I wish I could crave something healthier. Like, I don't know, broccoli. But, no. It doesn't work like that. Um, and really that's it for my symptoms. Don't really have anything else going on. It's really just the pain and pregnancy brain and my terrible, terrible cravings. I think the only other thing that I was going to talk about was something that I had found, um, doing some research. And I just wanted to throw this out there for any other woman that might be watching that is pregnant or planning to become pregnant. Um... Right now, one thing that I am really concerned about um, for myself, for my children, for people in general, is the increased diagnosis of Alzheimer's and dementia. Because I am currently taking care of my grandpa who does have dementia and it is a horrible thing to watch. If you <laughs> have ever had a loved one or someone you know with it, um, you know that it is a terrible, terrible disease and it's, it's just sad to watch them mentally deteriorate and then physically deteriorate after that. So I have been doing tons of research into neurodegenerative diseases and I have found so much information. But before I go down this rabbit hole and get off subject and start talking about other things. Um, I'm going to try and keep it on track. I had found one thing that says that if you consume, while you're pregnant, if you consume choline around 800 milligrams a day while you're pregnant, then you can possibly completely prevent your unborn child from ever, ever getting dementia or Alzheimer's. And to me, that that thought is incredible. Um, and, you know, for people out there that are like, well, if it's genetic or blah, 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 there are so many studies that show that we can turn on and off our genes based on how we take care of ourselves. And um, taking care of our brain is a top thing. And here's the kicker, one of the things that r really is killing our brain health is sugar and, uh, you know, flours, like carbohydrates, and the crazy amount that we consume them. So, me saying my cravings are just sweets, I know, is ironic, that's why I do not keep them in this house, but, um... Trying to get back on track here because my mind's going 10 different directions. If we can possibly prevent something by doing something so small as upping our choline intake during pregnancy, I am so on board with that. And one way you can get choline, like I'm not saying, I mean, I'm not telling anybody to do this, like talk to your OB, talk to your midwife, whoever you see. Choline is found in eggs. Eggs are so simple. To get like I eat at least three eggs a day and then eggs are in more things throughout the day that I cook um, so one large egg is about 115 milligrams of choline and I believe the choline is all in the egg yolk so you don't even have to eat the white if you don't like the white but whatever um, so eating I don't know what would that be like five, no seven, seven egg yolks. That does seem like a lot. Not gonna lie. 
Um, I probably eat between three and five, but then I also have choline in a separate supplement in my vitamins that I take, so that's giving me a little bit extra. Um, eggs are so good for you anyway. The fat that they provide is so good for brain development. I mean, it's such an easy way to possibly protect your child for life. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, do your own research, you know, ask your doctor, do whatever you feel is right. But I just feel like I wanted to get that information that I have read out because honestly, if it does work, if it is true, that could be life changing. So that's it. I'm not going to go off on any more tangents or off. Uh, yeah. Um, so until next time when I come up with some other crazy information that I'm going to give you and talk about 50 million different things I'm not supposed to be talking about, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments or any suggestions for back pain, leave them down below, and I will see you next time. Bye.